It may be hard to believe, but there is an extremely tiny language model, a baby baby ChatGPT running inside of the DALI. And here is the story how it came to be. After my post about running a language model on ASP32 S3 went semi-viral on Reddit, I wanted to actually make something almost useful with that tiny model. Something where even if AI goes completely off the rails and starts spewing gibberish, it would not matter much and maybe even considered a feature. So, a Halloween prop. Among the ideas I had was fortune teller machine, Oh, I am your friend. Futurama's Bender and some others. But then I found this, a miniature 3D printed Dalek. And I realized, this is it. I'll teach my micro chat GPT how to exterminate and let it loose onto the world. <laughs> the design I used is called 150% Dalek on Thingiverse. This is a reference to scaling of the original design. The original design had decent build instructions, but the remix was left as a work in progress, it seems. Using pictures and original build instructions, I figured which parts to print and how many of them. I started printing and printing and printing and printing. I thought my 3D printer was decent, but this project really tested my 3D printing skills. There were some tiny parts and there were some extremely large parts, such as the base of the Dalek. The large parts turned to be okay, but the smaller ones had issues with the details and I'll be upgrading my 3D printing setup for designs like this. The post-processing part was really daunting. First, I had to remove all the supports and there were a lot of them. While removing the supports from the slates, I inserted them one by one into the shoulder as per build instructions. Real test of patience was inserting 56 bumps into the lower chassis. The bumps were printed with the brim and therefore had slightly different sizes. To make them fit, I had to cut the base of each one of them one by one. See my incredibly happy face when it was done. I used red and black ESAN ABS Plus for printing most of the parts, with a few smaller parts printed with cold white ABS Plus. This is the design which I used to reference the colors. You see some parts are metal there. I did not have a suitable color plastic, so I decided to spray paint the parts. As you know, Daleks normally contain some squishy mass inside, but mine is made entirely of electronic components. We have the ESP32 V rover here with enough flash and RAM to contain the language model. And connected to the expansion boards, we have PAM8406 amplifier. And connected to the amplifier, there is a pair of 5 watts 8 ohm speakers. I specifically made sure for this build that they are loud enough so we can hear the Dalek very well. And also there is new pixel LED ring, so our Dalek can go bling bling while it speaks. Finally, over there, you can see the peer motion sensor, which will be responsible for activating Dalek when somebody approaches it. For the finishing touch, let's give our Dalek some brains and sprinkle in some code and AI. I use ESP IDF and Arduino as the component. Llama.c is used for running the tiny language model on ASP32, while ESP8266 SAM or Software Articulated Mouse is used for speech synthesis. It sounds super robotic, but for imitating Dalek, it's good enough. The code logic is really simple. We initialize all the hardware that we have, generate the output text with the language model in advance, and then pull the PIR motion sensor. 
When the motion is detected, we initialize the audio, synthesize the speech from a pre-generated text string, and output it through digital analog converter on ASP32. All while randomly blinking LEDs and moving the motor left to right in separate threads. If you wonder how well the language model works, well, I'm not gonna cherry pick. Definitely some of the phrases it generates are gibberish, but at the same time, there are quite a few decent ones that sound something like a Dalek would say. FYI, the links to the build instructions and 3D model downloads are in the video description. Make sure to check them out after you finish watching the video. In most of my projects involving electronics and circuits, if something goes wrong, it is the power. It is way too easy to get a magical smoke out of the dev board, or quite the opposite, when everything seems to be working just fine, find out the controller board browns out when the motors draw too much current. Both of these things happened with the Dalek robot. I burned one ESP32 extension board by connecting 15 volt power supply to it. It is rated for 6.5 to 16 volts, but well, I guess they lied. Then when I got a new expansion board and connected the battery to the barrel jack of that expansion board and 5 volt pin to the motor controller, I quickly realized that ESP32 starts rebooting as soon as the motors encounter any resistance. The solution was to connect the battery to L298N module and take 5 volts from the module to power ESP32. Speaking about the motor controller, don't use L98N unless you absolutely have no other choice. It's very old, power inefficient chip which loses a lot of voltage. Meaning that if, for example, if you have 7.4 volt battery, then you will only get around 5 volt for the motors. The voltage drop is more significant for higher voltages. I found two alternatives. You can see the cheap names on the screen now. Having said that, if you really don't care about efficiency, L298N or L293D are very cheap, quite reliable, and they have a lot of resources around them to help you if you're just starting out with the motor drivers. Once all the power troubles were solved, I needed to figure out how to fit all the electronics inside. The motors were simply glued with the hot glue gun to the chassis. And then I designed and 3D printed a rectangle to glue on top of the motors to hold the motor controller and the amplifier for the speakers. The battery fitted nicely in front and the speakers went to the back of the chassis. The only issue was where to put the ESP32 board. My original idea was printing a scaffolding that would be attached with the screws to the chassis. This is where I tripped and I spent quite a lot of time designing and redesigning the scaffolding to make it sturdier and not break that easily. In the end, I decided for now it's not worth the effort and I simply made it into another rectangle with the rounded edges. Code modification was not too difficult. I took the relevant parts from my remote controlled Smart Spider robot project. One thing that surprised me at first was that on switching on, the Dalek would start spinning crazily. Turns out ESP32 has quite a few so-called strapping pins. They're pulled either up or down during the boot. If the pin is pulled up on boot, this will cause the motor driver to give the current to the motor and off it goes. The solution, if you have enough pins, don't use those special pins. I think my mission of building exterminating LLM powered Dalek is complete now. Share, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see me building a bigger, half human sized version of it in future. If this video gets 50,000 views, I will do it.